All right, Eric, and then what diet do you personally utilize? Well, as far as my diet goes, I, um, I consider it uh, important what I eat, like most people, uh, but for my sake, uh, what I don't eat is equally as important. Uh, it's what I eat, it's what I don't eat, uh, but it's also when and how much. I already mentioned that I uh, employ intermittent fasting. I've done that for 20 years. I probably run a calorie deficit overall. Uh, I just can't seem to strike a perfect balance, can anybody? Uh, and I think that's the lesser of two evils between a calorie surplus, at least at my age. Uh, over the years, I've trained my body uh, because of intermittent fasting and exercise and fasting, and I've become more what's called metabolically flexible. That is, I get through my glycogen stores quicker to the uh, fatty deposits, which are the real energy. There. Um, this term, metabolically flexible, uh, is something that you may do a search on, and it's an interesting concept. A lot of people, before they can get between glycogen and fat, they bonk. And I bonk to some degree too. Uh, it's just that over the years, I've trained my body to get from glycogen to fat quick. And so the bonking's not as long, it's not as intense, and I can generally just kind of push through it. And that's in my everyday exercise routine, uh, to the gym, it's out cross country skiing. Max, for you, what's your diet primarily made up of? Uh, I don't have a lot of variation, but I do try to keep it semi-varied. I'm not big on vegetables, so I try to mostly stick with like high protein foods, turkey, beef, ground beef, as long as it's you know, pretty low in fat. And then for like carbs and stuff, like rice, grains, bread, I like to stick to. And right now I'm eating more carbs than normal because I'm trying to gain a little weight. So a lot of that stuff. And then vegetables, I kind of just skip over because I'm not a big fan. So I just take like a multivitamin to get some of my greens in that way. But I like a lot of yogurt and some dairy as well, but that's about it. And then do you take pre-workout or supplements? And if so, what do you take? Uh, yeah, that'd be like definitely pre-workout. Um, creatine, BCAs, whey protein. Uh, like a vegan protein sometimes too. And yeah, just a multivitamin on the side. And then I have to ask, are you natty or? Yeah, definitely. So no kind of steroids? No. And what kind of music do you listen to while you work out? Well, uh, remember I'm 56, so I'm going to date myself here. I listen to uh, 70s, 80s, uh, and uh, that comprises most of my high school, college years. Uh, I think, you know, some people in the gym, I've noticed, uh, they're motivated by what seems to be like angry or kind of brooding type of music and walk around with their hoodies on and they're into the sound, they don't talk to anybody. I kind of like m uh, music that's more upbeat and positive. Uh, but then, come to think of it, most of the 70s and 80s tunes are mostly about broken relationships or dysfunctional relationships. So I don't know how that's motivating, but for me, I think it's nostalgic. It's an emotional thing. So that's why I listen to that. So I'll also listen to classical music, uh, even waltz music, if you will. In fact, I found that when it comes to high uh, energy uh, interval training, plyometrics, that kind of thing, the classical music is actually the best. It, it just it really brings you down and it brings you up again. Like, what music do you listen to while you work out? Anything with no words, so EDM, hard style, bass, rhythm, that style is, uh, gets me in the zone for sure. That's about it. And then, do you guys work out together or separately? 
Not really. Separate. <laughs> it was mild, but put, you know, I'd like to work out more together. Uh, that was one of the chief intentions of this father-son block. I was hoping it would get us in the gym together again, and it did. It did. Um, unfortunately, we don't work out as much as we, we should, but we do have very different workouts and everything like that. We have different circadian rhythms, different timelines, plans, responsibilities. So it's just the way it is. Oh, so Max forgot his tank at the gym and he asked me to pick it up, and bring it home. Thanks. Uh, anyways. So I'm a little offended that Jeremiah didn't ask me if I was Nettie. Not that anybody is wondering. But just for the record, I am Nettie. In fact, I don't even dye my hair. If you found this vlog interesting or enjoyable, please give us a thumbs up by clicking the like button below. Or if you'd like to follow along, please subscribe. It is much appreciated. Thank you.